Thank you very much, and I will return as soon as that, that uh, mission is over. Um, Dr. Ratner, uh, Admiral Davidson, the previous commander of Indo-PACOM, testified, quote, the greatest danger the United States and our allies face in the region is the erosion of conventional deterrence of China. Uh, the current commander, uh, uh, Aquilino, also agreed with that. Do you agree with that? Uh, yes, Senator. Is there anything that you, uh, comes to your mind that you want to do to correct that problem? Senator, I think it's imperative that the department move with greater focus and, focus and urgency to bolster deterrence in the Western Pacific. Very good. Now, Ms. Berger, I want to devote most of the time to you because of a unique situation that is taking place right now. Last week, the Department of Justice announced that two former Balfour Beatty employees pled guilty to major fraud against the United States and conspiracy to commit wire fraud. According to the latest charging documents, which have also been reported in the press, the Balfour Beatty Regional Vice President is also involved. So at this time, we don't know how far up this, uh, this problem is, uh, this conspiracy actually goes. This committee led the charge with the reforms back in the fiscal year 2020 NDAA. We were busy, all of us, uh, busy during that time and, uh, and concerned about it. Quite frankly, confession is good for the soul. And I remember when I first heard about this, the first finding of inadequate housing and the problems that we had started with Tinker Air Force Base. And, uh, and so I assumed it was a problem unique to my state of Oklahoma, only to find this was widespread, it was still, correction is still underway, but this is something that is actually uh, uh, very, very significant. In effects, uh, you know, thousands, not hundreds, but thousands of our people that are, were in inadequate housings, and we uh, jumped on it right away, We've had several meetings, and it, but it's still ongoing. So, uh, uh, Ms. Berger, given the recent uh, criminal charges showing that not all privatization housing companies have the best of interests in our service members and their families, and with that in mind, how do you intend for this not to happen again under your watch, not only for privatized housing, but for barracks and dorms as well? Keeping in mind, we have a lot of good privatized housing successes that are out there. We know who they are now. We know where the deficiencies are. So what would be your first thought on that, that issue? Are you there? Yes, I, I did not hit my microphone to start. Oh. Is that better? Senator Enhoff, thank you for the attention that you've put towards our military families and, and their housing. First, our people are our greatest asset, and we are entrusting our people to these housing structures um, through the agreements that we have with the privatized housing companies. And in addition, those families, excuse me, those people's greatest assets are their families. And so this is a big amount of trust that we are putting in the housing structures that we have. And as you've noted, there are some good examples where this has been successful, but more importantly and more urgently, there are instances where this has failed and it has failed our military members. And so first I'd wait to see and continue to see the judicial process play out and um, see what uh, final determinations are made there. But additionally, use the surveys, the housing um, on installation advisors and advocates who are there. And then also take the opportunity, if confirmed myself, to be able to go meet with families, meet face to face with the housing company representatives and ensure that we are holding them to a higher standard. If confirmed, we need to, I need to make sure that we are doing the best that we can for our military families, and that would be what I would do first and foremost. Okay, that, that's very good. And it's, I can't remember any particular issue that has drawn more attention or had more hearings than we've had on that. And we've made great progress and uh, great testimonials, and I'd suggest that before you start in, that you get the transcripts of those meetings. And in fact, I'm gonna ask that you'll do that uh, before uh, taking your duty. Can you ha handle that one? 
Yes, Senator, I'd be, I'd be very glad to review all of those. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your help. Uh, thank you.